What is up guys? Some of you may have one of these magic arms. If not, I highly recommend them because they're awesome. Right here I have one of the best arms that you can get which is made by the company Noga out of Israel. And this is their hold it arm. So while working with the arm, unfortunately one of the ends cracked as you can see here. So I contacted them and they were nice enough to send me a replacement part. So shout out to Avi and Noga for that. And today I'm going to be working on trying to replace this piece with this piece. So I took a look at it and it looks like there's a pin right inside here. So what I'm going to do is try to take this tool, move the pin over, and then use these pliers right here to pop the pin out and put this new piece in. So let's see how it goes. So like I said, I'm going to take this and I'll have links to all of these parts in the description below. If you want to check out the Nogo arms, they're definitely the best. These arms come in all shapes and sizes from different companies as well. So here's, for instance, the Aperture arm, which is significantly smaller compared to this big professional arm. But this does get the job done. It's the one that comes with the Aperture monitor. So this one can hold a, a small monitor nicely. All right, so like I was saying, the pin is right here, so I'm going to take this. I got a sharp point on the end of my screwdriver here, so I'm going to try to just slide the pin over, which seems to be working. So you can see I have it slid out here. Now I'm going to take some tape and tape this side because I don't want to scratch this all up. I try to keep my things looking nice. So I'm go ahead and do that. Alright, so I went ahead and unscrewed this off to give me the maximum amount of movement here. So I'm going to push this down and go ahead and try to use these pliers. I'm sure you could use some other kind of pliers. I'm going to try these to try to squeeze this pin and pop it out. So let's see how that goes. All right, so I was able to just basically push it out with my finger. I just got it to about halfway and pushed it in and out with my finger. And here's the piece right here. So we'll put that to the side. Got the new one here. So. Just set that down. And now I'll get this like this. And I think I'll just try to pop this guy back in. I think around the same angle, so about halfway or so. There we go. Pop that right back in. And I'm going to slide it back in place. Almost there. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. The new piece is installed. Nice. Take this, get this back together. You can see this as it gets tightened. The way the pieces slide together, that's how it creates the pressure to make the magic arm tighter. So I'm gonna put this back on. Put the end cap back on. All right, so we're back together. Everything looks good. Thank you so much, Avi, for sending me this replacement piece. If you guys are looking at Magic Arms, considering contacting or getting a no-go arm, I'll have links in the description below along with the screwdriver I used if you need that. And also, I recorded this video with the newer Canon XF400, trying something different compared to the Sony cameras that I typically use. They are great, but sometimes it's just easier to use a video camera. So let me know what you think about the quality. And also, if you're not subscribed and you're into camera stuff and audio and video gear, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.